This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. For the purposes of paging through a report, we're actually going to use my first report that is located in your working folder. Now, when you first open a report, or you first even create the report and go to preview, as we have done previously, Crystal Reports formats the report as you've created it in Design View. But what it doesn't do is figure out how many pages it actually needs. So down here it says Records 385. But on the Page Navigation section, which is this little section here, you can see it says 1 of 1 plus. So it knows it has one page and it knows it needs more than one page. And as you move forwards, which you use the next page icon for, it now becomes 2 of 2 plus. And we can go forwards, 3 of 3 plus. So it knows there are more than 3, but still doesn't know how many. And as we go backwards, it still now knows there are 3, because we've been that far. So each step you take further through the document, it now knows there are 4, but as we go back, it still says 4 plus as the maximum. So we can go forwards a page at a time, we can go backwards a page at a time, we can go right back to the first page, this icon here, and niftily we can go to the last page. Now currently it doesn't know how many pages that is, but when you click show last page, it makes the calculation. And now notice there are 12. Notice it doesn't say 12 plus. Now that it's actually been to the last page and it knows there are 12 pages, as you step backwards, it knows there are 12 pages. That will not change. So this is the page navigation toolbar. Forward a page, back a page, right to the end, right to the beginning. When you see a number with a plus there, it's because Crystal Reports has not actually been to the end of that report yet, and it doesn't paginate all the data until it needs to. Great use of resources. But by going to the last page, we've actually forced it to paginate. It then knows how many pages there are in the report, and we'll display that in your page navigation bar. So this is the section for moving forwards and backwards through pages.